So we're in the tunnel with, with Noah, my new friend Parker here, and a uh, little discussion on the difference between seeing and looking. I know people talk about focusing on the ball and whatnot, but we're, we're going to have a discussion on how elite hitters um, see a lot more things, right? You talk about pitch recognition, even at the major league level. Pitchers are doing all kinds of little stuff that hitters unfortunately don't see, right? Be because they're, they're not looking at the right thing. So open focus, which I know we talked about before, is getting guys to understand that when I look at nothing, I see everything. And when you hear that for the first time, it doesn't make any sense. So we're just taking actually a field trip. So maybe if you, if you want a camera wants to bring us over to the field trip, right? This is where we bring hitters all the time. And so the field trip, Noah will appreciate this because this is where he spends the other side of his life on the pitcher's mound. Okay? We'll, we always bring hitters over here to realize, man, that's really small. That's 17 inches that's there. L look how tough it is for a pitcher and, and other guys to actually throw a strike, right? From a hitting standpoint, we're always kind of looking from this direction, right? But I want you to put your eyes on as a hitter and realize, you know what? All I got to do is control that 17 inches. And it just gives a better perspective sometimes because when we're out there at times looking at the picture, you got a lot of landscape, right? But from this perspective, what do you think, Parker? It's pretty small. No, what do you think? From experience, it's a, it's a very, it's very small, right. very narrow. Right. And, and from a pitching standpoint, because you pitch, it's like, damn, I, I got to get that ball in there and blah, blah, blah. But from a hitting standpoint, you know what? I just got to be able to control 17, 18 inches or so. But it, it just really gets to the point where it's, it's much smaller than what the eyes think when you're very first, for the first time kind of looking out there. Let, let's get back over here, all right? And I want you guys, we call these dragonflies. You're just going to stand there and you're going to look straight at me, okay? I want, get yourself in a hitting position and put your hands out, okay? All right? So I'm going to toss these balls, but you're not going to look at them. You'll see them, but you're going to continue to stare right into my eyes. Right? And, and let's see how good you are at picking up these dragonflies. A again, understanding the difference between looking and you actually just seeing ball movement. Because at, at high rates of speed, you don't have time to do what? There's not a lot of head movement. You don't see with your head. Okay? So I'm just going to toss you some balls. Right? Let's see how good you are. Right here, don't cheat. Look at you. Excellent. No, let's see. Let's see what you got. Excellent. 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 Good. Very good. Good. You guys passed the test. Now again, what what what's the purpose of that? That's the C part, right? And the look part, yeah. Very good, and it's. I mean, it's also a great drill, actually, for infielders and catchers, because with that, you talk about having soft hands. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to play mirror men. Get yourself in a hitting position again. Put your hands out, right? To the camera, it, the, we shouldn't know who's leading. You're going to you're going to mimic every move that I'm making, but but you, again, look, your eyes are going to be staying with me. Let's see how good you are at following me without looking at me. Sounds good. Okay. You ready? Oh, Ooh, come on. Stay smooth. Stay smooth. Stay smooth. Stay smooth. Stay smooth. <laughs> come on. You come like, on. You got like predicted. Ah, come on. Excellent. <laughs> Dude, yeah, that one's tough. <laughs> Parker, let's see what you got, Parker. Again, the, the better you get at this, someone's watching saying, damn, who's leading? You ready? Open your mouth. Good. Stay with my speed. Stay with the speed. Excellent. <laughs> okay. This is a fun one, right? I'm going to put, right, 
Right. This, this is how you learn how to not swing a change ups in the dirt. These are called flinchies. You guys have probably oh, played okay. this before. You ever played this before? Okay. So do we got to look at you still? Um, first level, you can look down. Okay. Your job is for me not to be smacking you in the top. Oh, boy. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. Don't guess. Come on. First helpful hint. If you keep them loose, you're not going to jump. Hitters get in trouble. Yeah. Talk about ball anxiety. First move. So you're going to learn how to sit there as neutral as possible. Here we go. Nice. Wait for the big move. Wait for the big move. Good. Ooh, good. Come on. That was a, that was a bigger move. Nice, nice. Okay, now don't look at now. Now just yeah. Now you're gonna have to see it out of the out of the bottom of your eyes. Ah, oh, we go. Oh, you were actually better when you weren't looking at your hands. You see it, right? You're good. Wait for the big one. Yeah, no, jump in. <laughs> No, I've played this game before. Have you? Yeah. Cool. There we go. Oh, no, you're jumpy. That was very jumpy. Atta boy. Come on. Uh, okay. There we go. There we go. Come on. Ah. Ooh. Good. Good. There it is. Good. All right. Now look straight ahead. There we go. You notice that both of you guys are much better initially when what? When you're looking. Over when you're up over here. Yeah. Here we go. Don't look. All right. Don't look. Ah, boy. Good. Well, again, you, you pulled out, yeah. which was good. The fact that I got you. Go one more time. Good. Next concept, the runway, right? I know you heard me talk briefly about the runway, but the runway is this magical place. Noah sometimes is on that side, but Parker, you're going to make a living on this side. The runway is the space between the pitcher and home plate. Okay. So if you're, if you're a left-handed hitter, right, it's, it's more than the strike zone. Okay. So picture, Righty batter's box, lefty batter box, and this line that goes all the way to home plate. There's the marker that sits there, right? We're going to call this the go zone. The better hitters make decisions later. Would you agree? Correct. Okay. I mean, on batting practice, you don't really need to do that. You're basically going. But as breaking balls get better, your decision to stay neutral as long as possible. That's why flinches is a great way to warm up at times for you to sit there and realize, you know what, not yet. And as balls start traveling, for you to get to realize when it gets there, I go. When it gets there, I go. And you're right. You, you'll pick up the ball out of the pitcher's hand. Right? And, and that gets back to a whole, you mentioned before, you're looking at the pitcher's eyes. What are you, what are you looking at when the pitcher is just presenting himself, Parker? Where, where, where are you? And, and th this is kind of interesting because when I ask big league hitters this, they'll sometimes say, I don't know, or they'll say I'm staring at the chest, yeah. or the, right, so you're, or right, and then at some point you're going to shift over to the to the release point. Noah's saying, hey, you know what? I'm on his eyes. I want I want to touch his eyes for a second. But at some point, where do your eyes go? Just to the right, or to the left, wherever. The, the, the depending upon who's throwing. So you go in there, and at some point you're going to be just kind of sitting out over there. You guys have heard about the window, right? The release point in yep. the window. I'm here to tell you that don't worry about the window, okay? Because if you start looking for the window, I use that L word again, guess what? You're going to be in trouble, right? So as the ball comes out, right? No, pretend you're throwing a pitch, right? It's coming out, right? Yeah, so at some point, right, if, if Parker is getting ready to hit off, off of here, right, you're going to be better well served not watching his hand, but doing what, Parker? You're, you're going to take a, you're going to go about three to five feet in front, right? That's the ice cream cone that I made reference to before, right? Here's the ball. No. 
See the ice cream cone? You get caught on the back of a ball. And you guys have done this at times where 85 looks like 90. When you're just on the release point a little bit too long, the ball comes out. And what happens? You're late. Well, your eyes are on the back of the ball, and now you're jumping. You're in what's called visual chaos. Now you're, you're, the ball's jumping all over the place. So your job as a hitter is to not be consumed with release point, but you, at some point before you face him, you know the arm slot. At some point, you know what? I'm just going to know the know where that release point is, and I'm going to position myself slightly in front of it. So now you're seeing more of where the ball is going and less than where it's been. Okay? So if you think about, you mentioned before, here to here, right? I'm going to be the pitcher this time, right? But I, I want you to I want you to be in seeing the whole thing in, in, instead of and I know this is what you do, and I'm not saying it's wrong by any means, but there's some times in which you might have to get a little bit more open, right? Because the pitching at some point they're going to be given cues away. So as I'm getting ready to throw, right? I want you guys to pick a, a spot ten feet behind me. So you're seeing me, right? And again, the whole thing today was seeing versus looking. So. You see me, you see all the stuff going back there, right? If your visual skills are so good, you probably see the cameraman. And you're certainly aware, aware that there's a guy two feet away from me. So when I start coming in, I want you to stay in this big picture and get to my release point from the back. Okay, so nose checked in here. And as you start creating some rhythm, I just threw it, okay? So, so again, watch me, and you're going to time it. So your eyes are coming in from the back, okay? Now what I want you to do is, is go and time it so your eyes are coming in from, I'm a lefty again, coming in from right field, okay? So you're, you're going to be out in right field, and you're just going to move over to this point. So your eyes are going in a different direction. The, the whole key is to, for you to figure out, man, when my eyes do this to the release point, I see so much better. When my eyes are coming in from the backside, I see so much better. I'm starting to pick up not so much spin because here's a news flash. How important is it for you guys to try to watch and pick up spin? What do you think, Noah? What do you mean? How important is it for you with your eyes to try to pick up and recognize spin or the seams of a ball? Uh, I mean, it's important, but you'll be able to find ways where they're tipping it before it even comes out. There's no question. Pitchers are creatures of habits. You'll yeah. see some stuff on the back. You'll see a change of arm slot. The, the key is when, when, you're, when you hear coaches and even pitching coaches talk about spin and, and, speed and, and seams, the brain doesn't have time to recognize that. The brain is going to look at shapes. The better hitter... Don't give a shit about spin or seam. Yeah, you're looking at parabolas. They're looking at patterns, vectors, and shapes. And the hitters get in trouble sometimes when, you know what, man, I'm really going to pick up spin. You don't have the time to do it. <laughs> and, and, and the brain is saying, stop, man. I, I'm, I'm, I just want to be in the, in the business of looking at these shapes or patterns and things like that. So I'm going to come in one more time. You guys are getting ready to hit, right? You can come in from the back. You can come in from the side, but, but the key is tr try to be in C mode as long as possible. I, I want you guys to be able to really see, see things that you've never seen before, right? So, yeah, Noah's out over there. I'm starting to move now. Now he's just going to slowly start coming over to the left side. Here I go. Right. And you, you saw both of you guys just kind of at the last second kind of peer over just a little bit. You guys like doing T-work? At times, not a huge T guy. No, T. Like it? Just, just to get it started off. Yeah. Great. But and you know what? E each hitter likes the T. If you want to work the T, it's great. I, I want to just make sure that you guys understand the following concept: work short, look long. Okay. And and even I'm going to probably center toss to you guys in, in a few seconds. It's nice and easy with wiffle balls if we have to. And, and I want you to say, every time that I'm, I'm, I'm in the hitting tunnel working on my swing, I'm going to do like probably most guys don't do, and I'm going to start looking 60 feet, 6 inches. So if a ball's on a tee right here, and, and you guys just watching this morning, you guys are pretty good at it, okay? You, you, you kind of put your head up. But what, what if it got to the point that 
you put the ball on the tee and you didn't watch the ball hit the bat off the tee. Because as you pointed out before, once that ball gets there, you don't see the last 15 feet of ball flight, do you? You no, that's, where you just, that's your decision right there. Exactly, and that's why we call it the go zone. Yeah. So if you guys got really disciplined at taking swings, I'm a left-handed hitter. Watch, watch, watch. I'm going to come in, and boom. Compared to what 90% of the guys do. Just look right here. That just slam it straight down. I'm going to hit, and there it is. I showed a picture of Barry Bonds on Friday night, right? Barry Bonds and all his tee work and soft toss and batting practice is so good at not cheating that every time he takes a swing, it's boom. He, he's actually realizing the game, real sure, speed is going right there. over there. Right. Okay. So just grab a bat. I, I want to see if you guys can actually, yeah, just grab your own bat. And I think, I think Noah said, yeah, there, there's the judgment line. We're calling it the go zone. Right. You're going to take a ball off the tee. When you unload on this puppy, just hit it. Parker's going to be the one to see, man, he didn't do like everybody else did and put it down. He respected the speed of the game. Oh. Let's see if you can do that. Right? Way out there. Right. Here's the one thing that'll happen. Guys are going to say, man, that's harder. You know what my answer is? Once you get used to it, I think, I think you, of course you, you do. And guess you what? Practice. Hitting is hard. Yeah. Yeah, you guys aren't playing t ball. You're not. You're not going to go and play t ball. Yeah, you're going to have to learn. Hey, you, to learn. you know what? It's all about over there. So right. th this whole, yeah, I feel kind of good. You're going against what visually you're going to have to do in the game. Try it again. That's pretty good, Parker. Try it from your side. Yep. Uh, right there, right there. Cheater. He cheated. Parker right cheated. There, right there, right there. Parker, right there. don't even look. Don't. Parker, are you playing t ball or what? Don't look at the ball. Where you just look at that the entire time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't look at this. Ball. Noah's telling you how to. You, you're going to see the ball and you're going to see the rod at the same time. Bang. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I swear I did not look at the ball. Well, I think it was almost after the fact because typically in your swing, you kind of put the head down. But yeah, to Noah's point, leave it there. Keep your eyes right here. I literally try to not even move your eyes. Don't even look at the ball at all. Yeah, don't even look at it. Now, yeah, I think that was it. His head, I know it's his eyes are staying there. His head is the, is what's right here. I think you might be right about yeah. that. Stay right here. Stay there. Stay there. Yeah, once the ball is out, because it's a it's a habit you've had for years, yes. you're slamming your head down, right? I'm not, I'm not the one I'm swinging. No, I know. I got you. Okay, I we, we believe you. Okay. So let's go. We're going to flip. Okay. Okay. But here's the challenge. When the ball gets here, close your eyes. Well, no, you just said once the ball gets there in the game, all right, you've already made a decision. So once it gets there, close your eyes. Once, the, once my, my flip gets there, and yep, that's right, right, right to be. Right. And you know what? Since you guys are, are, are high level athletes, I want you to keep your mouth open the whole swing. You guys ever hear Aaron Judge? Pretty good hitter, Parker. Yeah call this the jaws of judge right one of the things that aaron judge and his swing coach talk about his, his breakout year besides the all, all that stuff yeah. okay aaron judge realized you know what man as soon as ball flight starts and i open up my mouth relaxes the jaw relaxes the eye muscles and relaxed my 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 face so much better and than breathe a lot better and you breathe better also. And, and so again though, I'm not gonna toss to you if you're looking here. Your job is to stay out 60 feet, six inches. When you see movement, right? When you see movement, if you're still seeing me, then you can put your eyes here. But do not, do not look at me until you see movement. Here's the other suggestion I'm going to make for both you guys, because I know you guys like hitting a lot in games, right, or on your own. Who's ever tossing you, don't let him throw three consecutive balls in the strike zone. The brain gets very bored with repetition. And, and the more you can understand that it's all about, as you get higher and higher up, the take, the better off it's going to be. And I, I know it's, it's kind of feel-good time, but when you're on your own, just dump it. Or, or just get it to the point where you take it. You're taking it. And just, you know what? I'm going to hunt here. 
that that's going to make your, your visual skill so much better. But if it's constantly right down the middle of the plate, you, your brain wants to be challenged. You're boring the brain. Excellent. Again, this is not about barreling up balls. That, that's not what this is all about. That's a bonus. Excellent. Well, that's all. Oh, one more, one more. Take one more, yep. Get way out there, right? We're working short. We're looking long. Very good. And this is important for you guys to understand about breathing and everything, right? Don't let anybody tell you that there's one particular way to breathe. Okay? I'll give you 37 different ones, right? There's an inhale through the left nostril, exhale through the right, or learn how to hold. And if you think about the breath, it's got three parts. Inhale, hold, exhale, right? You guys should experiment with, you know what? I love my inhale a little bit earlier, okay? That's why we started neutral with the mouth open. But at some point, right, you know what? What do you think your best breath pattern is? Would you even know? Yeah. Great. Share. So usually when I swing, as I'm loading, so I basically pace my breaths, and you really start pacing them on the on-deck circle. So by the time you start loading, that's your inhale. And right as you go in that contact zone, that's when you exhale. That's, that's, so that works for you. So you're, yeah. and that's a popular one. You know what? Mm. Yeah. And exhale it that way. Might not be, well, but again, that might not be, that might, you might be a guy that just simply has to be Aaron Judge and just keep your mouth open, right? And, and if for some reason, you know, struggling with breaking balls or chasing at, at some point, okay, how about going the other way? Well, you're inhaling because when you're inhaling, you're doing what? You're holding yourself. So yeah, that that works for Noah. But I've seen guys that hey, you know what? I, I just love the fact that I'm I'm gonna exhale as soon as the ball comes out, and actually inhale when it comes in. Right? I want you to experiment with that. But for now, let's see if you can do a real good job of shutting the eyes down at the go zone. <laughs> I'm, I'm giving you to there, right? You, you're going to pick up all this intel, and then you're going to say, I got enough information, I'm going to fire the barrel. Mouth open. Looking way past me. If, if, if you're, in, if you're in, in seeing, right, you'll be able to see me move. Once you see movement, go from 60 feet to here to hit, right? And again, what's the purpose of that? What's the purpose of me forcing you guys off tee and center toss to always be 60 feet, six inches? Right. Your eyes are like, holy shit, no matter all the soft work that I'm doing, I'm, I'm still doing the same thing. It's getting your eyes very comfortable with 60 feet, six inches. That's why some guys struggle sometimes. That first at bat, all the BP work and soft toss that you're doing, right? You, so we're working short, looking long. Good. Again, it, it, it's not about putting the A swing on it at this point. Mouth is open. Get off me. Get way off me. The game is played out there. <laughs> All right. If, if you're in C mode, you'll see movement. And as soon as you see movement, you'll hunt the arm and you'll be in a much better position to hit mouth open. Keep it open until you figure out your breathing pattern. Excellent. So if somebody were to ask you why you'd be closing your eyes when the ball gets to there, how would you, in your own words, explain that? Well, why would we be doing this? Noah had the answer, but... Because you should have such an by the ball. You don't get this in real games. Right, you, you can continue to think that you're going to get that, but if you're going to get your A swing off and you got a good one, right, it's going to be more in this area here. The decision to swing, right, this is straight line physics. This has nothing to do with an opinion, okay? At, at the level that you're trying to get to, you're, you're either shutting it down or that barrel's going, okay? And, and that's why when you were on the tee, what did, I, what did I tell you not to do? Look at the ball. Thank you, Noah. Yeah, there, there's, there's Parker playing tee ball. Right. Let's let's see if you can do it again. Right. And 
what's the rule of three? When, when you guys are on your own, what's the rule of three? What did I just tell you about? Right. The brain gets so bored with that, with that, and with that. You need to, you need to tell who's ever tossing or when you're doing it yourself, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. I, I, want, I, want, a, I want a dopamine spike when that ball gets there. I want to reward my brain for saying, there it is. Okay? Which one? This one? So your eyes were closed and you battle that up, huh? Here's the other thing. This is more Eugene's word, world. I've seen more guys have better swings when they close their eyes because you know what? It's like, man, I just, I just feel so much smoother now. You, you're, you're not getting over anxious. Open your mouth and, until you know the breath pattern. Open your mouth. Pretty good.